guys, this is Orch Green today, we're doing our Bay Blade Bristol today, we're doing a battle the other day. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, got distracted us, so we're doing an unboxing game, and it's still Christmas on the recording day. Still trying to dial us God of the Wide but we're still doing the queue for copying bullshit. Last time we unboxed War Bahamut, and now we're going to do another Land of Booster Bay. This time we're gonna do Chain Corbeus. So, yeah. I actually have Chain Corbeus in the box, so at least I assume so. If I don't, I'll be got scams, but I doubt that because I think this came from the same guy. And so, yeah. So we have Rider Booster Volume uh, 29. This comes with also Drigger V2. Which is interesting because it's a it's a layer that's not BUODB system that is only compatible with Lumber. Well, it is it's compatible with it ordered this, but we, you'll know what I mean when you see the bay, but. Um, but we don't have the bay here today, we have Chen Carbea, so. Yeah. All the parts in the set are new except for the armor. So, yeah. Those give part information. Which makes my job a lot harder. So I'm probably gonna have to look on the wiki for the part um name for the part um sort thing. So yeah. So it it it's, comes with the six armor, the fortress disc, and yard dash. Yeah. One I didn't choose yard dash. I don't know. I wish they probably did. You could either press dash or even atomic dash because atomic dash already exists. Why yard dash? But uh, oh well, it's not that old anyway. So, yeah, gonna open this box up and make sure we actually got the right one. And if not, ah, uh, god damn it. But, yeah, let's get right to it. You see, you can see by the stickers there, it's definitely Chain Carbay. I mean, it only has like a few stickers, so. I'm pretty sure by, I can tell by this, that is, is the exact one I'm looking for. Because they vacuum seal it too much to the point where you can actually tell you're getting it. And rightfully so, here is Chain Curbeus. It looks kind of amazing. It is amazing, yeah. So it kind of almost forgot this thing had yard dash on it because I'm pretty sure, because I assume most certain people would put something else on it because yard does not do Curbeus. I mean, sure, Hazard Curbeus had atomic, but but that was uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, here's yard dash. And then this one is Fortress. And yeah. So there are all the parts right there, but we're gonna put the stickers on before we continue. So let's go. Alright, so here are the parts fully stickered up. Yeah, let's go up for the part review. And first of all we have Curbeus and it is pretty much just the Bahamut core, but right spin. So yeah. He has the tree head dog designs and, you know, rubber stuff. And... Yeah, this thing is also really good compatibility with chain because it kind of... Just chains whole things that depending on what you do, the things might pop out. And this thing's round, so... It pretty much just doesn't activate them because it just... Yeah, because it leaves space. Because this is kind of, because this is the smallest um, DB slash BU core. Because you know it's made for chain and for that purpose. So it's 
still good because you know it has really good burst resistance, so it's being it's being small it doesn't hamper it at all. So yeah, really good competitively. So yeah, next up we have Chain, and I did review this during my uh, Zest the Case Cosmo set, but I'm gonna give a brief one down here since this is just new to this set. So this is pretty much just about compatibility, like something. <laughs> Depending on how many things you're pointing out on the armor, those things they point out, or what core you're using, it even factors like chain, they all stay in or, or flap actually, because yeah. Well, with something like six or most the most DV cores, it, it all things stay out. So it's kind of like tacked in a way. So yeah. The next up is six, and if you want to see my review on six, check, check out my Cyclone Network unboxing. The next up is Fortress, and this is pretty much Giga, but like more, you know, hollowed kind of has holes in it. Really good for attack, really enough. So, yeah, not sure why. Probably because of the way it is. Probably because it's so compact and heavy. But yeah, strange good for attack. Especially guilty, I think. So, yeah. The next up is Yard Dash. Now, this is the Dash version of Yard, so if you want to see my review on Yard, check out my Air Performance unboxing. So, yeah, let's get ready to put this thing together. Things kind of hard to follow because, you know, the way. The blade reacts to the core being so weird. So. Yeah, here's Chain Kerbeus. So, this is also in high mode. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a test spin in low mode. So yeah, let's do the, the fabled test spin. So yeah, let me just take the box out. And yeah, let's do a test spin. So yeah, three, two, one. Performs decently, kind of like moments, but it has more movement because the ball is like really, really, really free spin. So yeah. Can't wait to battle this because yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this unboxing. I know this is kind of quick, but just one kind of get these done because I have to dose after my night credits because I have to quickly pop over to my house to do some boxing with myself and also make sure that the PS5 can work. And also start God War, which I already know, right? So I have to do some unboxing, but I don't want to inconvenience him too much because he can be a bit of a grump. That's what I'm gonna say. So yeah. So I'm going to do the next one, and the next one's going to be Wind Knight. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit the thumbs like button once more. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Want to check out my socials. Check out Discord. All my stuff. Links in the description. That's right. EMC device. It's pretty here. So, yeah, I'm kind of adjusting the camera here, but yeah. Um. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.